An endometrial ablation is less invasive than the cardiac type, but the purpose is still the same. Energy, or some other force, is used to destroy the problem tissue. Compare the steps of a cardiac ablation to an endometrial ablation below. 1. As with a cardiac ablation, you will be taken to a room equipped for the procedure. 2. You will be given medicine to help you relax. You might also receive general anesthesia or an epidural for the procedure. 3. You will be placed as you would for a pelvic exam. A speculum will be inserted into the vagina to help your healthcare provider reach the cervix. 4. Your cervix will be cleaned using an antiseptic solution, and the practitioner will make an opening in the cervix using small rods. 5. A tool called a hysteroscope will be inserted through the opening and into the uterus. 6. Your medical professional will feed the catheter and ablation tools through the hysteroscope. 7. The uterus may be filled with a liquid or gas to help your healthcare provider see the inside of it. 8. The type of energy used to destroy the endometrium will vary based on the method your practitioner has chosen. You may feel some cramping as the ablation is performed. 9. The entire ablation procedure only takes about 10 minutes. After it's done, you will go to a recovery area until any anesthesia wears off. 10. If you did not have anesthesia, your healthcare provider will still want to monitor you for about 2 hours.